Okay, excellent. I think we are live on stream. Um, Yuchen is here with us. Thanks for a great talk, Yuchen. Um, for the questions, people are welcome to post them on IRC or on the pad. Um, and we will also open this big blue button room up uh, in a few minutes if people want to uh, join here and ask you know, Yuchen the questions directly. So yeah, thanks again and uh, take it away. Yeah, thanks. Well, I guess while we wait for um, some other audience questions to start trickling in, um, I wonder, um, not having yet watched your talk, um, obviously, because it's been um, behind the scenes, I wonder if um, your system works with like offline documentation as well, because I remember um, seeing earlier some other um, Emac, uh, sorry, Haskell related workflows where people would uh, have downloaded the entirety of um, you know, the hackage um, documentations and yeah, be able to browse them locally and offline. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's the, that's one of the points of um, uh, doing this, uh, uh, of, of writing these, um, these packages. Um, so the, the HADOC um, org documentation is, is meant for a gen generation of uh, uh, org files of these uh, Haskell packages so that you can have them locally on your on your computer rather than having to rely on hackage um, which is uh, online like which is on the on, on the web um, the other one uh, HCL the code explorer it's yeah it's it's self-hosted so all you need to do is to um, download uh, like the packages you want to index and then index them on the server or on the local host and then yeah then you can um, you can unplug your ethernet cable uh, or and like uh, explore haskell code on your computer nice thanks that makes sense Maybe another question while we wait for um, other questions from the audience. Audience, and again, not having uh, had a chance to watch your talk yet. Um, what do you think is the state of, I guess, integration of Haskell? Um, both, I guess, the language, the packages, you know, the tooling, all that stuff. Um, integration with Emacs today in like 2022. Because um, I'm also, I do have a Haskell background, but I haven't done much of it in a few years. Um, and back when I do remember some pain points, um, including when trying to you know integrate it into Emacs. So I do wonder what the general um, state of things are. If you could maybe answer you know uh, quickly, I guess, um, in not in great detail necessarily. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I haven't tried all the packages, Haskell related packages. I'm. I think. Uh, the most uh, prominent ones are like Haskell mode and uh, Haskell language server through uh, language server packages like eglot or LSP mode. Um, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, Haskell mode is like it, it feels to me like a standard uh, language 
uh, mode where like it, it offers like uh, font locking, syntax highlighting. I mean, um, and a, a repo uh, um, like Python mode and and uh, limited documentation and uh, uh, cross references, um, which is uh, I mean that as I mentioned, that's why I did this HCO uh, package. Um, and uh, yeah, the language server is like, it. it is also pretty standard um, and offering all the language server things, uh, most of them, I think, uh, but it's very slow. Uh, it's slower than any other language server I've used. And, and uh, yeah, and it doesn't really work with uh, cross uh, package uh, cross reference, so, which I also mentioned in the talk. Um, so yeah, that's um, that's the, the the two main packages I I think people use most. Um, I yeah, I can't think of uh, anything else that's very. That prominence. Great, thanks. Oh, okay. I just remember there's also the Haskell TNG um, package, uh, but I haven't looked into it yet. Yeah. It's, if I remember correctly, it's like uh, in the GNU help, is it in GNU help or non GNU? Let me have a look. Ah, uh, right. It's also in non uh, Never mind. Yeah, I think it's a it's a new up and coming Haskell major mode, an experimental rewrite of Haskell mode. That's the description. Cool. And have you had a chance to maybe like play around with that a little bit and um see like how it compares with the traditional uh you know the older the existing haskell mode and uh, no i haven't yet okay Uh, one question that just occurred to me, I guess, um, about the state of uh, like literate Haskell and potential integration with org mode. Um, I've actually never, haven't put too much thought into this, but it just occurred to me that Haskell, as you likely know, already has a literate Haskell mode with like .lhs files. Um, and I was wondering, I guess, if you've tried maintaining or writing any projects in literate Haskell, at least not, if not entirely, then with a considerable amount of source code um, in that approach and how it might compare, for example, to um, something like Babel, I guess, uh, which is very much more documentation oriented um, with like code blocks uh, intermingled. 
Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I'm afraid I haven't really used the literate Haskell. Um, I heard of it. And uh, if I want to like write literate programming, I would, I mean, I would go for org mode and org babel indeed um, first before, yeah, before the more language specific um, mode. Right. That makes sense. I just thought it's interesting because Haskell is, I guess, one of the fewer languages where it actually does have its own literate mode, um, if you will. And yeah, there might be something interesting there to think about or try exploring at some point. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I will look into it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm reading about this uh, Haskell TNG mode. It looks like it can also jump uh, to definition outside of the project uh, using a thing. It uses a tool called H inspect, H uh, HS inspect, which is also a tool uh, using the uh, GHC API. Yeah, not sure how it is achieved though. Brian. I think I have a question on IRC. Um, is the indexing faster? And when re-indexing, would it be too slow to re-index on demand? Uh, sorry, what's the question again? Um, the question is, is the indexing faster when uh, re-indexing? Would it be too slow to re-index on demand? I think this might be for the other talk stream. I'm not entirely sure. so. Uh, yeah, I mean, it sounds relevant to this talk, though. <laughs> oh, OK, then, yeah, in that uh, case, sorry. I'm a little scatterbrained. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's OK. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, re-indexing. Um, I mean, I don't know, actually, I'm, because I haven't I haven't uh, started implementing, uh, like, on-demand re-indexing yet. Uh, and I'm still a bit hazy about uh, whether um, it strictly requires um, recompiling when re-indexing. Um, I mean, I, but I do think it's yeah, like the the main the 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 main workhorse of this process would be the GHC API uh, compiling process. Uh, whether it can like avoid recompilation efficiently um, when yeah. Um, and uh, I, I think it can, uh, like it, it has some optimization with recompilation. Um, and uh, also, um, ideally, you should, like, it should start using, uh, like, a bit less heavy compilation, like this uh, HIE, dot HIE files instead, yeah, instead of compiling the whole thing, like in, instead of requiring uh, com the compilation of the whole project uh, from, yeah, uh, using the whole pipeline. So HIE, I think it's more or less like 
the the only the only only the front front end part. Um, yeah, and if I mean that's that's one of the thing like main to dos for this project for the HCL project to replace the cabal cabal helper with the um, using dot HIE. But yeah, I haven't looked into yet. Awesome. Yeah, sounds interesting and uh, looking forward to it. I think we about uh, we have about like less than a minute or so for the live Q and A. Um, of course, people are welcome to um, keep asking questions, whether on the pad or on IRC. Um, and yeah, so after this Q and A concludes, um, this is our last talk of today. So um, you know, we would appreciate it if people would join us on the other uh, on the general stream um, for the closing remarks of today. And yeah, we'll still have uh, tomorrow to look forward to, of course. I see that Emacs Conf just left. Does that mean the Q and A is over? Yep, I believe so. So I think we should head on over to uh, the Gen stream. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll go there as well. All right. Thanks a lot for your questions. Sounds good. Yep, and uh, thank you, Yuchin, for your great talk. Thank you. Thanks. Bye bye. You are currently the only person in this conference.